Hey there, I wanted to cover a couple things that um, a few people have asked about as far as just like, you know, how to create content for the social media post and, you know, where do you come up with ideas and different things like that. And so I just wanted to cover a few things. It shouldn't take too long because it's actually pretty simple. But, you know, there's really three ways to create content, you know, for these social media posts. Really, you can create it yourself, which we really don't recommend unless that's something that you really enjoy to do and you're good at and, you know, enjoy the research and the writing phase and then, you know, are good at, you know, graphic design, then go nuts. But, uh, you know, really the, the two options that we recommend is either hiring it all out or using pre-made PLR content. Really, this is the best option because there's a lot of providers out there that already have all the social media posts created for you know just tons and tons of niches or or services that you may be offering or whatever, um, and so you know I'm gonna have a couple recommendations for you at the end of this video. But for the people that want to like create it yourself or or hire it out, it's really the same uh, process, okay? Um, and the first thing you need to do is just, you know, make a list of post ideas, you know, uh, list out all the benefits of features, really anything about your, the services or the products that you're offering that are going to grab the attention, um, you know, of your target market, you know, your social media following. You know, are there any funny or crazy facts or, you know, you know wild, statistics, whoops, wild statistics, you know, that your market's going to find interesting or, or, you know, people that you know, the facts of the industry or, or your business that people should know about. Um, you know, those are always really uh, good topics for social media posts as well. And then, you know, you could do anything, you know, that's funny or interesting, uh, things that happen with your product or service or industry. Um, if you could tie any of those things or any current events or whatever, um, that's always helpful as well. And then, you know, you can also just include, you know, inspiring quotes or holiday notes or other random things that, you know, as long as they're bringing value that you can stay top of mind by using, you know, the, the daily social posting, then, you know, that, that's, that's all you need to do. It doesn't need to be really difficult um, or really something that you need to overthink. Um, you know, any of those things and the combination of all of them are really going to work well. And then the next step is simply creating a blurb for each post. And then, you know, these can be short blurbs that, you know, can fit on the image or the blurbs can be longer and then you only use a little portion of that blurb to go on the image. You know, so for example, so if you go over here, for example, you can see, you know, usually what we do is make the blurbs nice and short and then um, they just match the image as well. Uh, you know, that keeps it simple, it keeps it easy, it's no big deal. Um, you know, some people like to have a much longer, more detailed blurb and then just a little, you know, uh, just a few words on the post to try and help get people to read the, the deeper content. Either way works. It's just kind of what you want to do. Um, you know, it doesn't, doesn't have to be difficult. It's just kind of what you prefer, what your client prefers or whatever. Um, so I hope that makes sense. And then, you know, you need to create an image for each post, which, you know, we recommend Canva, which this is my affiliate link if you want to go there. Otherwise, you can just, you know, go to Google Canva and it'll take you right there. Uh, but it's great because it's really easy to create the images. They have uh, templates already created that you can just plug and play. Um, you know, they're, they're easy to share the images. They're easy to like, if you do hire somebody, you can work with them and share, you know, like the folders or whatever. And um, then, you know, they're easy to download and, and, you know, all that stuff. So Canva is really, really good. It's a lot better than things like Photoshop or, you know, some of the other graphic uh, designer software is just because since Canva's online, it just makes it really easy. And then what we recommend is really Upwork and Fiverr, more so probably Upwork than Fiverr, but you can definitely find quality people on Fiverr um, to, you know, uh, to create, do the research, create the, the blog post blurbs, and then also the images and all that stuff, or you may have to create, you know, or hire two different people because there's two different expertises really. But, and then, the, but if you're going to use these the things that, we look out for is to make sure you check their ratings and then how often they complete their jobs, especially on Upwork. So we recommend at least a four star plus rating. We usually like it a little higher. 
and then at least a 90% job completion rate. And the reason that's important is, you know, you could have somebody that their price is right and their, you know, their samples of work are really, really good. But if they have like a 50% job completion rate, that means they're not doing the work half the time. You know, they're, they're bailing out for some reason or they get unresponsive or whatever. So you just really want to make sure that you uh, don't sacrifice the quality of the vendor just for price, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's how to create it yourself or hire it out. It's the same process. And then the last one is the PLR resources. These are the pre-made done for you solutions. And you know, what we recommend is Jean Colinda, Cl excuse me, I know her name. I don't know why I just stumbled. Um, but you know, she's the queen of social posting. She's the one that I actually learned it from. And um, she has a site that's uh, called localcontentdepot.com where you can get all the information um, of all of her services and things um, all up here. And it just kind of, goes through all the details of, of what uh, you get with each service and then the advanced post and then, then the all access pass, which um, I have my uh, affiliate links here. So if you're so inclined to use her services and you use our links, that'd be awesome. But the, really the differences in this is in the all access pass, she has over 60 niches already created plus even, I mean, plus a ton more. Like she's got a ton of content already created. And a lot of them have 90 to 180 days of content. Um, you know, so it's a, it's a really, they're, they're really good big packages and you get access to all of it. And, um, you know, for as many clients as you want to manage, all that stuff. And then for the advanced posting service, it's just a little bit different. It's, um, you don't get as, as, many of the options as you do with the all access pass. And then um, Neil Stringer is actually a customer, customer of mine who we have since done some work together and he's actually created uh, some uh, images for me and some blog post blurbs and some different things. And he, he, his offering is different than Jean's to where he goes in and adds a little more um, a little more detail to it too. It's like, you know, they create a blog post every day. They do to Facebook, to Twitter, to IG several times a day if you want. Um, you know, they'll email your list, you know, they'll write emails uh, each week and, and offer to do it several times a week. And so you get a lot more than just the social posting with Neil. And so, um, but it's a great service if, if that's something that you're looking forward to because it is a, similar to Jean's. It is uh, like jeans is it's all done for you. They do everything for you. Same thing with Neil. Um, they do everything for you as well. And then, um, but if, if you know you prefer to kind of like manage it yourself and maybe you use Post Planner, um, uh, like we recommend if you're not using Jean or Neil uh, and you're just somebody that kind of wants to do it yourself as far as the management side, then you know we will be creating ongoing image and blurb packages moving forward. So just stay on our list and then you'll get notified when we do that and then you'll be able to uh, use those as, as you want. Or, I mean, you know, suits the, the Google, man. Like, there, there's plenty of vendors out there and, and there's different options. We don't need to make this complicated. And so uh, search Google for somebody that you like. So that's really it. I mean, it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be hard. I do recommend for sanity and peace of mind is that you hire it out or, you know, use a PLR resource. So um, I hope this video helps. And uh, if you have any questions, just open up a support ticket and let us know. And uh, we uh, happy to uh, excuse, happy to help you out. Have a great day.